Hi, I'm Tanuja Engele from Nutanix. Today I'm going to walk you through the process of creating a virtual machine on the Nutanix A3 hypervisor using the Prism Central Management software. At the end of the video, you'll have a better understanding on how to create VMs from scratch on the Nutanix platform. Nutanix A3 hypervisor allows you to run all your workloads as VMs that are managed via Prism. To create a virtual machine, let's just go to the Prism Central page via the browser. On this, Select the Virtual Infrastructure tab and go to the VMs Entity Browser list. This list will include all the VMs that are present on this cluster. To create a virtual machine, click on Create VM. That will open a dialog box to fill in the details of the VM. Click Fill in the name of the VM. Description is optional. Select the time zone. By default, UTC will be selected. If you want to use this VM as an agent VM, which is a special VM that will never get migrated out of the host, click on this checkbox. Next, add the uh, CPU details for this VM. Let's say 1V CPU. How many cores would you like to allocate to this CPU? Say 2. Fill in the memory details of this VM. Next is to allocate the storage information for this VM. By default, it already has one CD-ROM created. To allocate new storage, click on Add New Disk, which will open another dialog box for you. The type is Disk. The next, you can allocate this disk on a storage container or from clone it from an ADSF file or from an image service. Let's just allocate on storage container. The bus type, it lets you select whether SCSI, PCI, ID, or SATA. Since you're creating a new disk, you can place this disk on the container of your choice. Let's just place it on the default container for now. Fill in the size details of this disk and click on Add. Continuing further, you can either select BIOS or the UFI boot version for this VM. Next is the option to select and configure the networking for this VM. Let's just add a new NIC. Select the network that you would like to place this NIC on. The network connection state is connected or disconnected by default when the VM boots up. Just say Add. Continuing further, you can also configure the affinity settings for this VM. By that, the virtual machine will always be running on this particular host and will not get migrated in the event of an HA failover or a maintenance mode operation. If you're interested in adding guest customization for this VM, click on the custom script and this will provide you an option to cu customize the VM. Click on save and the VM creation task has been submitted. You can go to the task activity bar, view all tasks, to see all the tasks that were submitted and you will see the VM update task successful. Go back to the virtual infrastructure, VMs, and this should show the new VM that you created today. Clicking on actions, you can perform power on and other actions on this VM. This is how you create a virtual machine on the Nutanix PC infrastructure. Thank you for watching.